Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation. And in today's video, we're going over the metal analysis for Lexius Plus. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've done my last metal analysis, but I am slowly catching up on all of the crap ton of metals that they just dumped at us <laughs> within this last month or so. So uh, I'm expecting within the, the, the next week or two, I should have all of the metals whose metal analysis videos I am missing to be up by that time. But at the very least, in terms of metal analysis, I have it here on my website. Uh, in case you're new to my website, as I know I've gotten a ton of followers lately, uh, you can always go to my website, click on the button right here, and it'll take you right to the article. Or if you're watching from sometime in the future, you can always go in the top right corner of the website, click on metal analysis, click the category that corresponds to it. So in this case, I'll do all metals. And then you can pick tier eight or reverse. Either one will work. And there you go. Lexius Plus will be right there. Uh, in his little spot for you to click on. You can just click on the analysis, um, analysis button right there. But other than that, let's get started with the analysis. All right, so Lexius Plus is a power reverse tier eight metal single target, has a total max multiplier of 13.33 to 20.30, uses six gauges, one hit, and this is what he does. For one attack, he raises the reverse strength by five tiers, lowers the target's reverse defense by five tiers, he adds three enemy counters, and deals more damage the bigger the slot number. And he also has a score of 26.650. Now, Lexius Plus is honestly a very interesting metal, primarily because of a few things, okay? When it comes to Lexius Plus, the main, main thing that is attractive about this metal is almost purely for his plus three counters that he adds to enemies. And the sole reason for this is because of the fact that he's actually fairly similar to metals such as FFRK Terra and Warrior of Light. He is the biggest comparison that has been made uh, to those. They both they both provide they both provide debuffs, they add counters, and they deal a ton of damage. Okay. Now here's here's the big issue with Lexius Plus though. Because of the fact that he is a single target metal, that means he's only going to really be viable for specific situations. Um, situations such as PvP or really hard events such as like the Organization 13 events, for example. Really hard, difficult events typically only have like one or two enemies at a time that you're fighting. So it's in those cases, single target metals actually become a little bit more useful and viable for those type of setups. Um, but in general, because of the fact he is single target, uh, he's not really very viable to use outside of using putting him in the fifth or sixth slots of your Keyblade setup. Uh, essentially, what I'm trying to get at is that you're basically going to end up using Lexius Plus in almost the same exact way that you would use FFRK Terra or Warrior of Light, assuming you have them. However, the only drawback about Lexius Plus when you compare it to FFRK Terra Warrior Light is the fact that his ability only lasts for one attack and not for the whole turn like Terra and Warrior of Light do. You, you honestly gain no benefit whatso whatsoever from actually putting him earlier in the setup like you probably could for Terra or Warrior of Light. So because of that, and on top of the fact he deals more damage the bigger the slot number, he is literally only useful in the 5th or 6th slot of your setup. You really don't want him anywhere else. That also provides an issue that because of the fact he's only really viable to use in the 5th or 6th slot of your setups, in an ideal setup, you would typically already have all of your reverse buffs and debuffs already maxed out by the time you've reached your fifth or sixth slot, at the very least by the sixth slot. Now, even though it might be difficult to do that as of right now, medals come out all the time. So even though Sephiroth EX Plus, for example, might be our main debuffer medal for uh, reverse debuffs, uh, for power reverse medals, to go along with Lexius Plus, for example, uh, that doesn't mean that down the road we're not going to get more medals that will be just as good as Sephiroth EX Plus or better than Sephiroth EX Plus and that they provide more reverse debuffs than we currently have right now. So in an ideal situation, because of the fact you'll already have your all of your reverse buffs and debuffs already maxed out by the time you've already hit your fifth or sixth slot, uh, the buffs and debuffs that Lexi provides for himself is honestly not really that relevant in the long run and honestly solely because of this you could in that situation just be better off using scar now as of right now 
Alexius Plus is pretty good because you can just combo it with Sephiroth EX Plus. However, in the long run, as medals come out, uh, you're probably better off just using Scar instead for as your primary damage medal. Um, I should also state too that Scar is a random target damage medal compared to Alexius Plus who is only single target. But again, that's only in the ideal situation because I know not everyone's going to be able to do that as of right now. In terms of traits, you want to try having any of the minus 60 traits if possible on him. Now, you can, if you really want to, have extra attack, but honestly, there's almost no benefit to having extra attack on Lexius Plus aside from uh, solely just the plus three enemy counters that he provides. Even if you do get extra attack on Lexius Plus, if you don't have a cost reduction skill to put on him, you're gonna be. Ooh, you're going to be using a lot of SP gauges. All right, so just like I talked about in my metal analysis article, um, I gave a couple topics as to like whether or not you might want to actually use Lexius Plus compared to other metals in the game, such as FFRK Terra Warrior Light. And one of the things that I have mentioned is that uh, if you already have FFRK Terra Warrior Light, is Lexius Plus actually like worth using? Okay. And realistically, if you already have FFRK Terra or Warrior Light, you might really not need to use Lexius Plus. Uh, solely because of the fact that one, the FFRK medals, they provide higher multipliers than Lexius Plus does. Um, as well as because of the fact that it's easier for their high-end multipliers to actually go off when you're actually using the metal. As well as their abilities actually last for the entire turn uh, compared to Lexius Plus who only lasts for his own attack. That's the biggest comparison I've been seeing a lot of people do to him. But, uh, so in that regards, honestly, if you have Terra or Warrior Light, you might as well just use Terra or Warrior Light instead. The only time I would ever actually see Lexius be useful if you have Terra or Warrior Light is solely against any of those upright resistant enemies. Um, because they'll most likely have counters and you won't be able to use Terra or Warrior Light against them. Um, because they're not going to be able to do damage because they're upright metals. And you have to use reverse metals against those upright resistant enemies. Those are going to be the only times in which I would actually find Lexius Plus useful if you already have Terra Warrior Light. However, if obviously, if you don't have Terra or Warrior Light, and obviously we don't have Judy and Nick B right now either in Global, then in that case, yes, Lexius Plus will be pretty useful for you. Um, I should also state as well that Lexius Plus is the first reverse metal in the entire game to provide more than just plus one counter to an enemy, okay? And I should also say as well that he is also the fifth reverse metal in the entire game to affect counters <laughs> at all, period, okay? Uh, in case you aren't aware, the uh, all of the reverse metals in the game that affect counters are Shioni X, Toon Riku, Toon Roxas, Toon Shion, and now Lexius Plus. For those of you that have been playing the game for quite a while already now, uh, you already know that the Toon Riku, Toon Roxas, and Sh Toon Shion are no longer available. And honestly, I'm not expecting to see them anytime soon too. Or or at all for that matter. So quite literally, the only reverse medals in the entire game as of right now are Shioni X and Lexius Plus while he's still available. So if you need a hard hitting medal that also adds counters, you might want to consider getting Lexius Plus. He could probably help you out in future situations. He might actually help you out in future Organization 13 events as well. Okay, so now I'm going to actually go take a look at my spreadsheets like I always do in my metal analysis. This is honestly my favorite part out of all my metal analysis art, uh, videos. Uh, just because like I like looking at the, the data. Data can actually tell you a lot more about metals than you normally think about when you're just looking at metals straight up. Okay, so remember that Lexius Plus has a score of 26.650 and the first spreadsheet that we're going to go ahead and take a look at is going to be a complete list of all of the existing power reverse metals in the game. So starting off with the power reverse metals, uh, let's take a look at his score and where he places among the list. Okay, so right now he is in about not counting the copy metals. He's actually in eighth place right now. Pretty much the only metals that are above Lexius Plus are other tier 7 and 8 power reverse metals that we've gotten in the past already. And one of the major reasons why Lexius Plus' score is so low is largely because of the fact that his ability only affects himself uh, and doesn't affect any other metals in the entire setup. Uh, that's a large reason why Lexius Plus' score is so low. And it makes sense why he would pretty much be on the bottom of the totem pool 
in terms of the other tier 7 and 8 metals uh, for power reverse. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the multipliers. If we take a look at the total max multipliers for all power reverse metals, Lexius Plus is actually in third place in terms of just raw damage <laughs> for a total max multiplier. So that 13.33, the bottom of his multiplier, he's actually in third place. The only two above him are going to be Scar and Sephiroth EX+. Plus. Scar makes sense because it, it, Scar is just a straight up raw 21.9 multiplier and Sephiroth EX+, Plus has uh, a very consistent multiplier you're going to end up getting of 15.38. Now, if we take a look at the alternative total max multiplier, so basically in the situational conditions, Lexius Plus actually rises up to second place with only Scar being right above it at first place. And this honestly just helps go along with the fact, like I mentioned before, that in an ideal setup, if you can already max out all of your reverse buffs and debuffs, it's a lot more useful and viable to try and using scar instead of lexius plus primarily because of the fact that lexius plus will have nothing more to add and scar would just simply just do more damage because he has a higher multiplier now after taking a look at that let's go ahead and compare lexius plus to all of the current tier 8 medals in the game now uh so here's the spreadsheet that i have on my website looking at the tier tier 8 list okay and just by looking at this uh right now it's organized by score and just by looking at this alone, we can see that Lexius Plus is at the bottom of the totem pole. Basically kind of what I said before, uh, but now this time it's not just with uh, comparing against uh, Power Reverse Metals, it's comparing against all the Tier 8 Metals in general. And Lexius Plus is at the bottom of the totem pole, and this makes sense primarily because of the fact that Lexius Plus' ability only works for himself, it does not work for any other Metals in the setup. So because of that, he ends up having a significantly lower score. Now, if we were to compare all the medals in the tier 8 just by their total max multipliers, so we're going to organize that by right now. If we take a look at that, Lexius Plus actually rises right here. He rises the 6th place. Um, so, in t so in terms of at least total max multiplier, he's in 6th place. Uh, right below all of the EX Plus medals <laughs> in the game at, the right, as, at least as of right now. Um, but he's also right slightly above all of the stained glass metals as well at their lowest uh multipliers now when we take a look at their alternative total max multipliers so their high-end multipliers for organizer by that on my spreadsheet lexius plus is the strongest tier 8 metal as of right now with his multiplier of 20.3 uh the the next highest multipliers in the game are the stained glass metals with 17.35 for their like high end of the spectrum multiplier so that right there is really worth noticing um but then again remember that lexius plus can only actually obtain that 20.3 in the very last slots uh otherwise you're not gonna you're gonna be more towards the 13.33 uh, range instead now take a look at all the reverse metals in the game if we take a look at this lexius plus is actually somewhere in like the middle of the first section that you look out in the reverse uh spreadsheet that i have on my website now i know he's in the middle but keep in mind there's a lot of reverse metals in the game and i can actually even just keep scrolling down and there's a whole lot more so just being within the first section is actually not that bad i do want to point out though that if you take a look at all of the medals that are above lexius plus pretty much a majority of the tier six seven and eight reverse medals in the game outdo lexius plus in terms of score and again this is primarily because of the fact that his ability only lasts for himself and doesn't affect any other medals in the game if we want to compare it in terms of total max multiplier though for all reverse medals in the game lexius plus actually rises up here to fourth place the only medals that beat lexius plus in terms of multipliers uh like consistent multipliers are going to be the sephiroth ex plus HD Vanitas EX Plus, Master of Xehanort EX Plus, and Scar, uh, which makes sense because they can consistently get their multiplier of 15.38, and Scar just has a straight up multiplier of 21.9. So that makes sense. However, if we want to organize it by alternative total max multiplier instead, Scar Lexius Plus does rise to second place at 20.3, but the only metal being above it is Scar. 
And that just goes along with what I mentioned before that like in an ideal situation where you already have your max reverse buffs and debuffs, you would want to prefer to use Scar instead of Lexius Plus in that situation. However, if you can't, uh, Lexius Plus will be good finishing damage metal that you can use at the very end too. Now, last but not least, let's compare them to all metals in the game. If we organize it by score, we actually have to scroll down a little bit because there's so many metals that just outdo Lexius Plus in terms of score. So here he is. In case, you can't, in, in case you guys can't tell, I actually had to scroll down quite a bit on my spreadsheet to actually get to here. Uh, and I want you guys to pay attention to the type of metals that are actually surrounding Lexius Plus, okay? So if you just take a look at the metals real quick surrounding him, there's a lot of tier 4s that are surrounding Lexius Plus. And this makes sense uh, because of the fact, like I keep mentioning, his ability only lasts for his own attack. And pretty much any tier 5 or higher medals at this point in the game uh, pretty much last for the entire turn at the very least. So to have a tier 8 medal only like only affect himself for one attack, it uh, really drastically lowers his score. But in terms of pure score, he is not that great of a medal at all. And he's practically on par with like a tier 4 medal more or less. Maybe even tier 5 somewhat. But keep in mind that's just in terms of score. When compared to every other medal in the game, he's only he's really only as good as a tier 4 medal. Now, if we want to look at total max multipliers, Lexius Plus actually jumps up a lot, which I mean, which makes sense. Again, he is a tier 8 medal, and all tiers mean is that they can have a higher guilt percentage. And all a higher guilt percentage means is that they can have a higher damage output. If we are to organize about the alternative total max multiplier instead, let's go ahead and do that. Lexius Plus does rise up within the top six medals in the game. The only ones being above it are ones we would expect to be above him, which would be King Triton, Illustrated Diz, Scar, and FFRK, Terra, and Warrior of Light. These make sense uh, just simply because Scar, Diz, and Triton have just straight up raw multipliers of 21.9. Those aren't going to change. And Terra and Warrior of Light, when fighting against a single enemy, uh, do reach that super high end of their multiplier of 24.16. And that goes back to what I was saying beforehand, that if you have Terra or Warrior Light already, um, you honestly probably don't really need to get or use Lexius Plus uh, right now at all anyways, um, except in those very specific upright resistant enemies. But that's it for today, guys. I hope you found the video insightful. But if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. It is the best way to know when I upload new videos such as this one. I'll be looking to try to upload a banner advice video for Lexius Plus as well as an event guide for Lexius Plus Organization 13 event as well. Because I did beat it live on stream as soon as it hit uh, global. Uh, but I'll be looking to release those sometime soon. But other than that, uh, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Cross Nation and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.